Hey guys, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Monday the 22nd of August and this is your play of the day. Hey, before we get growing, if we before we get rolling, if you guys would be so kind, take a minute, smash that thumb, give us the like. We certainly appreciate the effort. And of course, while you're smashing things, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Make sure that you click the bell, get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And of course, we want to know what you're playing, whatever you got cooked up for today. Whatever the sport, kind of a light baseball card, but there's some plays out there. Maybe you got some tennis, maybe you got some soccer, whatever it is, put those plays in there. You get them right, make a profit, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. And if you want to go for the real gusto, grab for that brass ring. You could be the capper of the week, and we do have the results capper of the week. Talk about who will be joining me tomorrow on the video. If you want to play this week, brand new week, we're just getting going. Make sure you put your plays in the comment section. The one that you want for the contest, we just take one play each day from each player. Put BB beside that, if you would, too. Uh, be so kind and put the odds that you got the play at, whether it's a single game or a parlay. Speaking of parlays, certainly welcome to play parlays. They can't pay more than plus 200. Now, you can play any kind of a long shot, whatever the odds, that's is certainly encouraged. All right. So without further ado, we will take a look at yesterday's action. Uh, nice easy win on the Cincinnati Pittsburgh game. The only time they didn't score is when I turned the game on. I turned it on in the bottom of the third or top of the third, rather. It was uh, three to two. We were sitting at five after two and a half innings looking good. And they didn't score for, uh, I think, two and a half innings. I watched it all the way through the fifth. All right, well, I got to turn this off, and I get an update. In the sixth inning, they're at eight, and the game goes well over. So, like I said, we had two chances to win that. Beat up on a couple bad starters. Beat up on a couple bad bullpens. And uh, both of those things, for the most part, kind of happened. So, we'll take the win there. We go one and three on the premium side. <laughs> couldn't hang on with the uh, Browns-Eagles in a... Uh, or, excuse me, couldn't hang on with the Bengals-Giants. Had the under 37 and a half, and I know with the final score, that looks like a ridiculous play that wasn't close. Actually, it was. If they could have held them to a field goal on the uh, on the drive there, the uh, Bengals would have gone up uh, by one. But uh, yeah, not the case. So oh, I'm sure the uh, and then the uh, we, our best bet was the uh, Dodgers and the and the uh, the Marlins had under seven and a half there. Dodgers just did it all by themselves. Miami did their thing. Um, put up three runs, which is actually more than I expected out of them. So uh, yeah, tough way to finish the week. But you know what? We're gonna put trudge on. You're looking to. Uh, Pick up my picks. Make sure you check out the discount codes and the link in the description. All right. And uh, yeah, let's talk about what we got cooked up for today, shall we? We're going to take a look. Uh, we talked about them and we just insulted them. Now we're going to play them. It's the Miami Marlins minus 120. Who are we going to lay the Marlins against? Couldn't be very many teams. Well, there isn't, but this is one of them. It's the Oakland Athletics. Edward Cabrera goes for the Finns against Adam Oller. Adam Aller for the Oakland Athletics. You know, we talked about the Marlins' inability to score runs quite a bit in this space. Believe it or not, there's three teams in baseball even worse than the Marlins. Of course, you know one of the regulars. If you're a regular, you know it's one of them is the Tigers. One of them is Pittsburgh, who we played with an over today. You're welcome. Um, and the other is Oakland. That's right. Uh, the uh, Oakland Athletics are 29th in the league in scoring. Only Detroit is worse. And when it comes to scoring at home, no one is worse than the Athletics. Tigers, they're 29th. They score 0.8 runs more per game. If you think that sounds like a pretty good gap between 29 and 30, it is. 0.8, same gap between the Tigers and the 15th-ranked Diamondbacks. So, yikes. Uh, only the Nationals, who have been relegated to the Carolina League, or should have been relegated to the Carolina at the All-Star break, are worse at home than the Athletics. As far as Aller goes, he started the season with the big club. Pitched three times in relief, sucked, uh, had an 11-17 ERA, got sent back to Vegas. A month later, called him up to start the second half of a, a doubleheader, got shelled, got sent back to Vegas. Called up a month later, uh, worked out of the bullpen. He wasn't working out of the bullpen except for the spot start there. And uh, his uh, ERA uh, dropped all the way down to nine after four relief appearances. The A's were so impressed, they decided to put him in the rotation. That's right. He has made six starts in the Athletics rotation. 488 ERA, 147 whiff. Now, as far as Cabrera goes, he came up in June, 
made two great starts, then a shitty one, and immediately after went on the IL with elbow tendonitis. Now, that's often an ominous sign of deeper elbow problems, but he came off the IL on August 5th, and he has been nails ever since. Made three starts, no earned runs, and just six hits in 14 and two-thirds innings. In fact, uh, the only problem with him, he walks a few too many, um, and he doesn't go especially long. He's uh, not efficient with his pitches. We'd like to get five out of him. That's what we're looking at today. Um, but if you take away the drubbing that he took, when obviously his elbow was hurt, uh, in the other five starts, he has surrendered exactly one earned run total in those other five starts. To me, this is a game where you play uh, you, you play uh, Miami and you have to pair it with the under. A couple things have to happen here. We need Cabrera to continue to pitch as well as he had. We need him to go five innings, give up one or less. I know it's going to be a fine line here. Uh, we need a decent performance from the pen. And so far, they've been good. Uh, in those five games that we talked about, the Pens have given up just seven earned runs total. And the Marlins, uh, they need to pick up, I think, at least four runs. This one feels like four to three, four to two type. Could be three to one, something in that neighborhood. But I think it stays under the total as well. But we're going to go with the play I like just a little bit better. We're going to take the Miami Marlins minus the 120 over the Oakland Athletics. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we start our Monday the right way, pick up our winning tickets, and head back to the window. All right. You guys know how I did. Let's check in and see how y'all did, shall we? And uh, for the second week in a row, we had a change of uh, we had a change on the leaderboard as uh, going into today's action. Uh, Jan Dudley was ahead. He was uh, eighty bucks up on a Bronco Devil. John, Jan Dudley. Jan Dudley. Uh, Put out a play on the Twins today. The Twins responded by doing absolutely fucking nothing at the plate as they lose four to nothing. Bronco Devil, on the other hand, he's found his new cash cow, kids, as he uh, played another three-teamer with some alternative uh, lines. It worked out for him. It paid plus 114. He ended the week at 704. In second place was Jan Dudley. He ended the week at 550. And coming in third, a guy, if you're not tailing these picks, at least his best bets, I don't know what to tell you. It's the captain, Brian Gillahan at 530. So you guys know the deal. Bronco, you got first shot at it. If you want to be on the show uh, sometime here today on Monday, give me a holler, scott at winnersandwiners.com. Let me know what time works for you, and we will make it happen. Uh, Jan, I've got you in the bullpen, ready to warm up if you if Bronco can't go. So if you want to shoot me an email as well. And uh, Captain, if you're in town, if you're on the mainland, uh, give me a buzz in case Bronco and Jan uh, bail. All right. So there you go. Once again, Scott at winnersandwinders.com. Um, and as we learned last week with uh, Ted, if I uh, after you send that and you haven't heard a response from me for a while, check your spam folder because that's where my response was to Ted. All right. So there you go. As far as capper of the day goes... Uh, we're going to give a retro to Daniel Angelero. He hit a uh, uh, he hit the Tennessee Titans a minus three on Saturday. Nicely done, Daniel. Citizen Sammy, uh, she burst on the scene this week and she has done nothing but cash, uh, going four and one on the pitch plus two ninety. Our Rivera nine one one going one and zero plus five ten had the Baltimore Orioles plus one zero two. Bronco Devil, you know him, you love him one and zero plus five seventy. That three teamer was. The Yankees plus two and a half, Arizona plus three and a half, and Colorado plus a three and a half. And that paid plus 114. Nicely done, Bronco. Wandering Crow. I don't remember, I don't remember seeing Wandering Crow before, but he uh, wandered by to uh, hit a hell of a shot as he had the Oakland Athletics plus 195 and that cash. So that puts him 1 and 0 plus 970.975. Nice job, Mr. Crow. Zwa Carter plugging right along again, three and one plus one fifty five, and Andrew Kalaja going to one and zero plus five twenty had the Mets at plus one oh five. But your capper of the day, we've heard this story before, kids. Somebody's uh somebody's a little warm. It's Scott Nowak, everybody. He hits another uh, three teamer today, going uh, Cincinnati Pittsburgh over seven and a half. Laid a little extra juice there. Had Houston team total over three and a half, and St. Louis on the money line that played plus four forty six. And that gets him to 1 0 plus 2230. Congratulations to Mr. Scott Nowak. You, my friend, once again, 
are the capper of the day. Well done to you. Well done to the rest of you guys. Way to bring it home. What a fun week for the contest. Anxious to get the uh, the new week started and see uh, see who will be joining me a week from uh, today. So, that being said, looking forward to uh, the uh, the fun video with whoever whoever ends up. And we're going to pick one baseball game each. We're going to pick a dog from the Tuesday card and, uh, yeah, see who can get it done. All right? You guys, have a great day. Hope your week starts off in fine fashion. Thanks for watching, of course. As always, don't forget, I'll be back here tomorrow trying to keep uh, our little warm streak alive. We've been a little uh, hot and cold on the premium sides, but our plays of the day on the videos, they've been running okay. We're going to try to keep that going, all right? We're going to comb the stats, check the schedule, and uh, do what we can to come up with that very best opportunity to give you and me a chance to head back to the window. You guys, take care. We'll see you then.